the scene of horror at a clothing factory that went up in flames, workers trapped inside. The factory is in Bangladesh, but the clothes they make are for international companies, some of those companies American, allegedly including Walmart. ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross has been tracking these overseas factories and their safety violations and has already begun to ask questions tonight. The fire broke out at night as hundreds of garment workers were on overtime shifts, producing clothes bound for some major American retailers, including Walmart, according to workers' rights groups. Officials in Bangladesh said the flames spread rapidly on the ground floor, trapping those on higher floors of the seven-story building. There were no exterior fire escapes, according to officials, and many died after jumping from upper floors to escape the flames. As firemen continued to remove bodies today, Officials said at least 112 people had died, but that the number of fatalities could go higher. It all adds to the shameful record, as previously reported by ABC News, of more than 600 garment factory fire deaths in Bangladesh over the last five years, a place of the cheapest labor in the world and some of the most deplorable conditions. The industry uh, apparel brands in the U.S. have been warned again and again about the extreme dangers to apparel workers in Bangladesh, and yet they have not taken action. Workers activists went into the burned out remains today to document which major retailers they say were using the Tazreen factory. They say they found labels for Feta Glory, a Walmart private label, along with labels they say tracked back to Sears and a clothing company owned by Sean Combs. There's no question that Walmart and the other customers of this factory bear some of the blame for what happened in this fire, yes, without doubt. Is that really fair? Because they're so they, far away. They know exactly what's going on in these facilities. They have staff on site in Bangladesh. Walmart actually warned of dangerous conditions at the Tazreen factory last year in a letter posted on the website of the factory owner. Quote, the factory had violations and or conditions which were deemed to be high risk. Tonight, a spokesman for Walmart tells ABC News the company has not been able to confirm whether its clothing was being produced at the factory at the time of the fire. We haven't heard back yet from Sears or Sean Combs, two other companies that labor activists said were using the factory that turned into a death trap. David. We've been warning of images just like these for some time now, Brian. Again. I know you'll keep asking these questions. Thank you.